Okay, sorry it's kind of messy. This is just a really quick video. My hands are probably really dry, but I just got back and I need to take it out. Okay, so this is a purchase uh, after watching Seaweed Kisses on YouTube and I got this probably a week and a half ago so it's finally here. This is actually from China. Seems well packaged. Just making sure that you are you can see everything. So this box says lay a solid foundation and the same will come for you to shine. She had a great deal and I got the A5 size. And this reminded me of the Gilio notebook, leather notebooks. And then she also provides a sample of the leathers. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I would have gotten the undyed, but I don't think that that color was available at the time. So this is the leather. It says it's genuine leather and the shop is called Woozy, Woozy. I could be saying that incorrectly. So there were two options. There was the green, there was, and then there was a blue. And they have an Etsy shop, and then they also have a regular uh, shop online. Um, I ordered from the Etsy shop, which seemed like the prices were slightly different and not as expensive. It does come with this dust bag. Oh, this is really nice. This is luxurious, a luxurious dust bag. This is really nice. Like, I I don't even, could it even fit? It seems like it's almost a little bit too small for it. But the dust bag, it seems a little bit more nice than everything else, honestly. <laughs> it's really soft, really soft. Definitely nicer than the Gilio dust bag. But anyway, I didn't buy it for the dust bag. I do like the box. Definitely something that I could use um, for like ephemera pieces and just keeping around. The leather seems a bit, it's very thin, that's for sure. And this brown leather seems very, uh, I don't know. It smells different. It smells like upholstery leather. Like it has a, almost like a little bit of a chemical smell to it. So let's see if this fits. At first glance, it almost seems like it was, looked a little bit small. But lately I've been gravitating towards the simple covers, um, thinner covers. And actually when I compare this to a Sojourner, this cover is quite a bit thicker than this one. So let's see how it holds up. This Rowena Sojourner cover is fuzzy on the inside and I do notice that it catches a lot on stickers, um, which is not exactly something I like very much, but it does catch. You can see all the like brown around here. 
I do like this contrast between the green and the brown. Alright, this is like a perfect fit. It is to the T. There's no, no extra room here when it comes to fitting it in the slots. Seems like maybe a millimeter or two, which means most likely my uh, clear cover won't fit. My clear cover did not fit here. That means it's definitely not gonna fit on this. But this is a very pretty green. Like I mentioned, it's just a quick unboxing just to show you how it looks. Um, it's a perfect fit, very sleek design and the leather, it smells, it's starting to smell good, but it's more, it doesn't have that strong leather smell to me. It smells a little bit like... Um, a little bit of a like a chemical smell but the feel of it is really nice there you can see the texture in the leather and I can feel a little bit of texture too so I don't think that there's much like of a coating over this which hopefully means that it will have a really nice patina to it this is supposed to be a bookmark I'm not really sure how well that will hold anything. Maybe, maybe a few pages at the beginning. I do like how they have these slots here. These are really nice in that they're angled. So that's a nice touch. And I do like this embossing here. I can see that this is going to be one of those where I have to pull out the sleeve a little bit just to lay it flat, my notebook. But I've had to do that with my Sojourner anyway, so I'm kind of used to that. But anyway, yeah, um, we will see how it goes over the next, the course of the next day to week or two depending on how long I will use it. I prefer stitching to go all the way around. I don't know why, I just feel like it looks more completed that way, even though you're not really stitching anything together. But this is, it's really nice. I like how the design is very sleek. Sorry, my kids are really loud. And then, oh, I love that little texture right here. So I wonder if that would come out more as I use it. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.